1970, Northern Canada. Investigation time. <laughs> What's up guys, out of here, how's it going? It's been a long fucking time since I made a video, probably, uh, probably two weeks, maybe more, I don't remember. Just been caught up with work and other shit, you know. <laughs> but anyway, today I have an exciting game to kind of show you and make a review on it. It's an early access game. Um, it's released by Canadian group. I forgot what it's called, but I'll leave, it, uh, I'll leave a description and the link to the Steam game down below in the description of this video. So today, basically, we'll be reviewing this game and seeing what is it about. As you can see from now, it's uh, I just started it. it Say it's probably the last patch on the top corner on the right, and just kind of has a little uh, ongoing video, I guess, or the background you call. Let's head to options, see the graphics real quick. I'll just leave it as it is. Maybe it's just gonna work better as it configured it itself. And uh, as far as menu goes, it's all simple. You know, I like the way it works. Um, and it kind of reminds me of a game called The Long Dark, which is also set in Canada, and which is also like all icy and cold. But this game is basically you play as a detective, I believe. And the time is 1970, as I stated in the beginning, and you just have to kind of go through surreal events. So let's hit the play and see what's it about. Create new game. This early access version of the game, blah blah blah, of course. I'm actually really excited to play this game finally. I got the key probably a week ago, just didn't have a chance. La chance. Speaking of which. And let's see what's the game about. And if I like this game, of course, I'll try to make more walkthroughs and shit like that so you guys can see and enjoy what's about kind of loading a bit long which kind of sucks I guess I'm not really positive what engine this game on but maybe it's on unity but it doesn't really matter what kind of engine as long as the game works properly. It doesn't have bugs and shit, you know. It has good mechanics and shit. Press any button. Carl Faubert, private detective, had just traveled thousands of kilometers from Montreal to reach this remote middle of nowhere area, situated near the far northern Lake Atavibank. Granted, this was a great distance to cover for a sole client. But word had it that he was a particularly wealthy one. <laughs> Alright guys, we are in the game. And so far... I like the way it looks. Just walk around. Like... Atom... What? Atomipec? I guess? Carl was meeting his client at a store near this area. He was on the right track. Okay, so we're looking for the guy named Carl, I guess. Um, we have a car, we have our shit here. Let's pick it up. Of course, we pick up smokes. Fuck yeah. Let's just. Ticket, I guess. Flashlight or flashlight, if you will. To drive a bit further north in order to meet with wealthy industrialist William Hamilton. Okay, where? Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Okay, so we're here at the rest stop, and we're gonna be driving up north to meet the Carl, I guess, to the general store. In Hamilton was a prosperous owner who had acquired various businesses as well as metal mines in this northern region. Got an empty bottle. Woo! <laughs> I'm just gonna look all around first, see what we can find, you know, before we're gonna head there. 
an interesting work of art. All right. I like the way it looks. It looks amazing. And the atmosphere this game has is incredible. I really hope the gameplay of it is nice too, you know? Are those matches? Fire Mansions, Fire Starter, okay. Ball Cutters. Uh, that should be good, maybe helpful. <laughs> Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to reestablish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de leaves could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. I kind of like the narrative or narration they have in the game. The voices, top notch quality, I guess, and kind of gives the details about certain things. It will be good. Read. That's it? Oh, there you go. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I don't really like reading much. I'm gonna put this away. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. I like this. This is nice. You can actually see the body. Nice. Well, let's get into our... What is this? Chevy, nice. I show car. That's some fake bullshit like in GTA 5. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? Okay. That would, however, be a mystery for another day. I know, I know. Can I sit in the car, please? For someone to come and raise it. Oh, meh. Actually, don't we have uh, bolt cutters? Oh, fuck it. Hamilton never mentioned Motherfucker. a blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Uh, graphic option, control options, uh, change keyboard. How do you drive a car, vehicle? How do you get in the vehicle? It's probably E, right? Gameplay. Interact, you see? Oh, there's a health bar, temperature, stress, and weight. That's cool. Hamilton Motherfucker, a what the blocking barrier? Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Okay, have the objective, right? Oh, so I should go through this, and I have bolt cutters to use. The cutters made quick work of the chain. What better way to investigate vandals than to get into their shoes, Carl, the professional vandal thought, reveling in the irony of the situation. How come I thought that it was this way? Anyway, yeah, boy. Then enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. I like the way they made the look inside of the car. And the windows, all like dirty and foggy, rusty, whatever you want to call it. Look, you can even see foot. That's nice. This is fucking sick. And I don't think there is a third person. The speedometer is working too. 
The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent men. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Oh shit, it's snowing. This is what kind of game Steam needs, you know? Early access, something like... Earl was not made aware okay. that Winter I'll let you talk. This year. The North made clear who was the boss up there. Snow. Which didn't care much about the date when it felt like dumping its first load of the year. Oh shit, Icy Road. It's gonna have it handling. Fuck, I barely see shit. But yeah, this is what got. God damn it! I'm out of my ass. Why is he talking so much? The bloody cunt. Let me stop. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I want to stop and tell. Finish my fucking sentence, alright? This is what kind of games Steam needs. Something like this, early access, you know, it works and it has a story. It's not a multiplayer survival bullshit which Steam is full of. It's rather, it's like investigation and adventure game, you know, and it's perfect and it's $10 only. Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far. Only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. I actually think I will make a walkthrough for this game every time I have time. And of course, I'd like to hear from you guys if you want to see more of this. And no, I'm not saying we're done yet. Lag. Okay. I wish we could switch the third person. Good thing that the general store was close by. What the fuck is a lag for? Okay, we're gonna get out. Carl's military training had made him a very punctual man. Being late to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Okay, fine. It's a general store. Yep. I'm gonna pull out right here. Yes, sounds. You will leave traces. This is fucking sick. Nice. Okay. There's a phone here. Okay. So I'm stuck at three. I think it's stuck at 12. Oh, never mind. Yep, yeah, 3 it is. Nice. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. It's probably a fucking generator. Fucking dark. Oh, yeah. Alcoholic detective. Perfect, right? How do you use a flashlight? Okay. Escape. Equip. I wanna... You don't leave ammunition out in the open like this? Was Jules Lachance that careless? What the fuck is this? <clears throat> oh, 
Oh. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Okay. Can we grab the dough? Ugh. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Supposed to meet with me at the Jim general Michelle, store. Carl recollected was the general store's manager. Should Hamilton not be available, he was the man to talk to. Or what if Hamilton had moved up his appointment with his physician? Okay. <clears throat> First aid. It's a good thing. Okay, we don't have electricity at the moment, so I just still want to go around and see what I can find. Fire starters, I think. The place is a mess. No shit. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. So let's turn this off. The garage is off. The note. I know shut the, the garage fuck up. And the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Okay, something is wrong from outside then. Maintaining his composure. Oh fuck. Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Ah, draw another counter, any of them, cause fuck that. Right? And, uh. Well, I guess we are gonna go check the garage. They just they just run away, right? Let it be known. It was in the air. Can I read it myself? God damn it! Tolerated each other. Let it be known, you're nothing more than a braggart, a robber, a garbage hoarder, a wiper, a leech, a monster. You're holding a knife at my throat. It's bad for me, but. Oh, it's fucking French. I don't speak French. I know basics, but that's it. Meh. Our temperature is not bad, the stress is not bad, so we're still good. I need a key. I don't have a fucking key, man. Okay, we need to find a way to get in there because uh, I guess it hides something. So let's go through the store again. Maybe we can find something here. Whatever happened here, things got pretty rough. And not a trace of Hamilton. You mean Coca Cola? Yeah. Okay, why are you? Okay. Duct tape. Yep, I'm gonna Finding a key, key is easy. Finding the right keyhole, not so much. Bitch, I know where the right keyhole is. Right? I'm just gonna keep the flashlight for now. 
close the door just because of fucking wolves. There's a car here. Looks like this low rider car from GTA, the GS Andres or GTA 5, if you will. If you know what I'm talking about. Just gonna take shit because I'm a fucking Jew. I hope I'm not gonna get copyright from this shit. <laughs> fucking YouTube, right? Um, da, 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 da. What are we looking for? Let's open my journal. Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. So, we are at the general store to meet the client, and he's not here. So, let's see. The snowstorm pr pr proved too powerful a foe for the electric transformer. The village is plunged in darkness. In these freeway lands, though, there is always a way to fix things up. Okay. Find my client. What if something bell fell him? I closely look at the race now. Order. Seems like Hamilton had a doctor appointment. Perhaps it took longer than expected. Doctor office is not too far away. It's worth checking out. So we are gonna go check out the office. Nice fuel. <laughs> Kinda wanna turn on the generator. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Yeah, man. Well, there's nothing else to find here, really. And, uh... Let's go turn on the thing for the garage. Maybe that'll make any difference. I don't just don't know, really know where generator is at. I mean this. Oh, there is a generator. <laughs> there we go. And as you remember, it cannot work at the same time. So we already been in here. We kind of know. What's up with the other thing? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch the power from the store to the garage. There you go. I just want to see if there's anything in the garage worth finding, you know, or if it will do anything, cause it's probably there on purpose. That's it. Ah, crowbar. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point. Yeah, like fighting off wolves or some shit. I guess that's it for now. Um, we might as well head to the doctor's place. I believe it's been a while already now, right? Like, since I started recording the video. And if you're still watching, <laughs> thank you fucking very much. And I appreciate that you like this. So, let's open up the map. Where the fuck is the doctor's place, though? You know what, guys? No, I want to pl keep playing this. This is fucking amazing. I like it. So, we are at the general store. Blaze, doctor. Oh, there you go. So, we have to go, I guess, through this road. 
Well, he stressed car less accurate than runs shorter distances. Well, it's time for a fucking smoke, bruh. Special. Matches slam, hardware, fire starter bottle, ammo. Usable. Carl, like many of his contemporaries, Felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Cigarette. Just like was his me. own personal breathing <laughs> assistant. Alrighty. Given the circumstances, leaving with an empty tank would be a death warrant. Oh Carol shit. To refuel. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. <sighs> In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Okay, I know, I know, shit. I switch the generator. <laughs> I think it was here. There you go. We even have to put gas in the car. This is how amazing this game is. Well, through is it open? Oh. Alrighty, time to go see a doctor, right? Can we use a? No, no fucking. Okay, okay, I'm kidding. I wanted just to use a map in a car. Let's see if we can do that. Yes, baby. Oh, I can't even drive like this. Wait, 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 wait. So there should be a road right here. Oh, we are going through this road already. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the doctor's place. going to be the last place for us to visit for today's review because it's been already a long time. And usually I do reviews rather than the walkthroughs, but because this game is just so, I don't know, amazing, because I like it so much. Um, how do you put this away? Because I like it so much, I just want to, you know, play more and more. I'm going to park here. It's freezing cold outside. So what do I tell you so far about the game? I think it's awesome. I like it. I mean, it definitely has to kick to it. It's a exploration slash adventure game, and you're a fucking detective basically. And it looks amazing. It feels good. So should you pick up the game for ten bucks on Steam? Fuck yeah, you should. Definitely support the developers. It works. It works amazing, and definitely worth playing. So what happens next? Do they like saving stuff? Hmm. There's a note here. There should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. <laughs> if he dies, I won't be returning. Thanks, bro. Finding a locked door in the country is not that big of a deal. Carl knew a key had to be hidden nearby. Nope. Um, can we do this? Makes sense. Yeah, bitch. We. Oh, the toilet here. Maybe it's hidden there. Lamp, that works. I don't see shit in there, okay. That's like, I don't know what it is. <sighs> Bitch, where is the key? 
so impatient about stuff. Oh, mailbox. <laughs> what the fuck? In spite of Dr. Beaupre's goodwill, the place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. Well, um, yeah, that's it, guys, for today. Only a great misfortune could have pushed a man like and, uh, to isolate himself from the world. I think I'll be able to make and some. Shut the fuck smoke. up, man! Come on, I'll be able to make some walkthroughs. Sometimes in the future, I'm just gonna keep playing and record with you, with you guys, so you can see what I'm experiencing. Uh, of course, if you want to pick up the game, go ahead. It's uh, definitely a worth playing game. And thanks again guys for watching, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're first time. And if you watch the whole video until this end, this is amazing. Just watching so long of someone's gameplay or review until the end is just perfect. Thanks again guys, peace out and I'll see you next time.